Yes, uh, when I attended last year the African Construction and Totally Con Concrete Expo, I was very impressed by both the Congress and the exhibition. I met so many interesting people from all over the world, all parts of Africa and of course from South Africa. The presentations were incredible informative and the exhibition gave me a very good idea about the construction industry in Africa. For those reasons, I was very happy when you invited me once again this year. DIBT is a German public authority, meaning it's a non-profit organization. DIBT helps to improve the safety in construction works in Germany, Europe and worldwide. We are involved in developing standards, we recognize testing laboratories and we do market surveillance of harmonized construction products in Germany. Most importantly, so we assess and approve non-standardized construction products, especially innovative products. These approvals are recognized and valued in Germany, Europe and oftentimes even outside the European borders. It's my understanding the quality control of construction product is not at all set organized in Africa yet. This leads to construction damages or even to accidents. As a first step, we'd like to demonstrate how the assessment of non-standardized construction products is carried out in Europe. If you are interested, we would like to support such a system in Africa in cooperation with similar local organization. With Agremont South Africa, we have one such similar organization in your country. We already have a very good cooperation with Agremont South Africa. There are other African countries where there is very little yet when it comes to safety and construction. I will talk about the assessment of new construction products, especially using an example from the area of concrete. We had a very interesting case in which a manufacturer wanted to use pre-stressed concrete hollow core slabs as climate control ceilings. I will show the whole process and I will go into detail about the different steps which include the preliminary meeting with the manufacturer, the approval request filled by the manufacturer and the test program. In the end, the manufacturer got the approval for his innovative construction product. And most importantly, our approval is also the confirmation that this innovative construction product fit for use and it's uh, safe. Yeah, generally, safety always costs money. There are poor countries in Africa which have to weight their investments very carefully. Unfortunately, there are a lot of cheap, low-quality construction products around. However, uh, we do not recommend saving on the safety of buildings because it's always more expensive to repair damages than it is to use reliable products during construction. Additionally, it's impossible to put a number on people's safety. In order to identify these reliable products and to ban unsafe ones, construction products have to be tested before they are allowed to enter the market. The system has to be proven by extremely effective in Germany and Europe, of course, the African countries have to find their own system which is suitable. We can just show how we do it in Europe and we are glad to offer advice.